Ranger. horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Got the canned peaches, Doug. Last one's in the place. Everything you ordered. I reckon I cook likes you. Wooden spoon. Wooden fork. No knife. They don't intend to let me cheat them, Danny. I suppose the hangman has a family and needs the money. Tug, this is awful. Everybody knows you're innocent. You believe that, Danny, only because I told you so. They wouldn't be hanging me in a couple of hours if they believed it, too. Is there anything I can do for you? They're letting me out today on parole. You made it. I made it. I wouldn't have, though, if it hadn't been for that government order to abandon this place. They're transferring some of the boys and Paroling a batch of us and, and executing me. The last man to be hung in San Pablo prison. That's quite a distinction. I wish it didn't have to be this way, Tug. So do I, Danny. So do I. Oh, by the way, I'm surprised that you're all so willing to leave the place. There's supposed to be Spanish gold buried under these floors. The famous treasures of San Pablo. Nobody believes that story? That's right. Nobody believes anything. That's why I'm doomed to hang. There is something you can do for me, Danny. You just name it. Everything I had in the world went to pay for the cost of my defense. He's a friend of mine, too. And he's all I have to leave to my daughter. Will you take him to her? Well, I... But that's toward Calvados. Yes. Is that out of your way, Danny? Then just forget about it. No, 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 I don't want to forget it, but... That's a hundred miles through some mighty bad country, and... I don't have a horse, or... Never mind. Forget about it. Never mind. I was going to get a ride in the opposite direction. I've got a job waiting for me. You don't have to explain, Danny. You've spent six months here for doing something that... Any fool kid might do. And of course, your first duty is to yourself. Oh, Tug, I... It's all right, Danny. I have a lot of thinking to do, and I haven't many hours. Just thank the cook and say that I wasn't hungry. All right, Tug. Don't you worry about your future, old-timer. He'll come back. He's as decent as they come. Seems that Bill Barker put up the barbed wire spike fence. Tug Spencer's cattle were tearing their hides on it. Tug got mad and talked a lot. Later, Barker was found near the fence. The wire twisted around his throat, and he was dead. That's not enough evidence to hang a man. Well, Gil Jackson, the deputy, said he saw Tug riding away from the spot, and that he found Tug's hat under the body. But I know that Tug was wearing that hat when he was arrested. That's a serious charge, Danny. 
You're saying that the real murder was Gil Jackson, the deputy? Maybe it was. I don't know anything about him or Tug's lawyer. Most of the time, he didn't seem to know which side was paying him. I only know they hanged an innocent man. The last death in that prison. Yeah, the government was going to close it up a long time ago. That bad place to keep men. What's your next move? Well, I guess I'll just keep going. To Calbados? I said I'd deliver this bird. That's a long walk, Danny. Why not take a ride with us? You weren't headed for Calbados when you found me. Why do you want to go there now? Danny, the West will never be a home for people who want to live in peace unless they can depend on the law. If certain men have used that law to cover up an injustice, I want to find out about it. If an innocent man has been hanged and the murderer is walking free, I want to find out about that, too. Look, the next time you want me, don't holler from the window. I was talking to Nora Spencer, and I could tell by the look on her face she was wondering just how friendly we are. I'm dividing the money, my boy. It took you a little time to get to it. You've got to do things slow and easy. Always get the maximum. Leave that to you. Thank you. There it is. Barker's cattle, Spencer's cattle, Spencer's ranch, his horses, everything he had. How come it's three ways? There's just the two of us. That's right, my boy. One third for you, the rest for me. We split even, Mr. Haig. No. I do the planning. That's one third. You do the rustling, the killing, the lying. That's one third. And the rest? Why, if anyone else had defended Tug Spencer, would he have hanged for a killing you did? So, that's another third. Forget it. Make the divvy any way you like. Everything's wrong between me and Nora. Everything. I don't stand a chance with her. When did you stand a chance? We were as good as engaged. Only in your mind. And when you testified against her father. Oh, I made it look like I was testifying against my best friend. It looked like pulling teeth to make me talk. I thought everything was going to work out fine for me, getting him out of the way. He didn't trust you either. He paid for that. Hey. What's the matter? There's a stranger in town talking to Nora. He's not talking. He's just a peddler selling her a bird. There's not much to him. He don't even pack a gun. Maybe I better run him out of town. Are you consulting me professionally? Not me. I'm not Tug Spencer. I want to go on living. He said to tell you that he would close his eyes and he wouldn't see any face but yours. And uh, to tell you to remember what you meant to him, that you mustn't ever change. And he wanted you to have this. Well, that little bird has been delivered safely. What do we do now? Since we want to meet that deputy sheriff, let's try disturbing the peace. How we do that? Remember the Wild Indian Act? That'll fetch Jackson. He'll arrest you, then you throw him the bait. Uh, me let him put me in jail? I'll be close by. If what Danny said is true about Mr. Jackson, it might be interesting to see how he acts inside the San Pablo prison. Oh, uh, you won't forget about cleaning the cage. He said to take it apart right down to the last piece. Guess I don't have to tell you how to clean a cage. Well, uh... I guess I'll be on my way. I wish you'd come in. No, I, I better not. Please, come in and freshen up and, and tell me more about my father. What does he know about your father? Who is this, Nora? What does he want? Don't jump out of ambush every time anyone speaks to me, Gil. This is a friend of mine. Is he? Where do you come from, stranger? What's your name? Where I come from, we don't think it's polite to jump a man like that. He might not care to answer. Well, this is the law that's asking, mister, so talk up. Gil! I didn't ask for protection from you, and I don't want any. You never knew Tug Spencer around these parts. You're too young to have known him before he came here. Oh, Gil, will you go back to your desk and put your feet up? So the only place you could have known him was San Pablo Prison. I guessed it, huh? You're an ex-convict. Perhaps an escaped convict. Tell you what, Deputy, you take your hand off that fancy gun. We'll see which one of us can take the other fellow apart. This will be a real pleasure. Gil, Danny! It's time for the Wild Indian Act. Go to it. <laughs> Town and talking about San Pablo prison. Who sent you? In that bad place, San Pablo. Many men die there. Red brother, you're going to die here unless you learn how to give a straight answer. Now let's start all over again. 
You ever see that Spanish gold? What's up? I don't defend Indians. No money in it. I want you to defend him, all right. I want you to keep me from cracking his skull wide open. Just for disturbing the alleged peace of Calvados? Listen. You remember those old stories about that Spanish treasure buried under San Pablo prison? Who doesn't? Here it is again. He knows where it is? Sure he knows. He keeps saying he doesn't, but there's something about the way he says it. You show us gold? Gold? Are you Take it easy. Sure, gold. Under prison. Buried long time. And believe me, Redskin, once we get there, you'll show it to us. You put his case in the record book? Don't. Get him out of here and keep him undercover. Take him to Split Rock and wait there for me. Split Rock? I'll be there in the morning and we'll go on to San Pablo. Oh, he's scared. Poor thing. Makes you feel helpless being behind bars. Six months. Felt more like six years. I'd have been there longer if they hadn't abandoned San Pablo. I'm glad they did. You know, they were making such a to-do about it, paroling prisoners and all. We thought maybe they'd grant your father a reprieve. I know. Somehow, Lawyer Haig couldn't seem to get the appeal through in time. You know, this bottom tray is detachable. I suppose I should take it out and clean it, too. I'll dampen the rag. All right. That tunnel sure raised a ruckus. It's all part of the plan, but I need some information from you. What cell was Tug Spencer in? How could I find it? It's the last one in the lower floor of the building, northeast corner. You pick up anything interesting? The trail of Barker's killers is cold and well covered. I'm taking a long chance, and that's about all we can do. Danny! Voice of the angels. Danny, look. A letter in the bottom of the cage under the tray. From your father? Yes. Read it with me. It concerns you, too. Dearest Nora, you are reading this letter because Danny York went out of his way and accepted great personal hardship merely to keep his word. And for this, he will benefit beyond his wildest dreams. Nora, when finally I realized there was no hope for me, I tried to escape. I made a digging tool out of an iron spoon. There was something peculiar about the flagstone near my bed. I had the feeling it had been raised before. And I was right. There was emptiness down there, space, perhaps a tunnel. It wasn't a tunnel. There was no freedom this way. It was an underground vault built by the early Spaniards. It was a storeroom. Nora, it was the end of the legend. I had found the treasure of San Pablo. But I was still in prison. And I knew now that I would die here. I want you and Danny to share this treasure between you. I hope you use it to go far away. To some place where the shadow of my name can never cause you, cause you unhappiness. Don't, oh, Nora, please. I can't do any good. I'll tell you what we can do. We can turn that treasure into hard cash and use it to clear his name. He'd like that, Nora. Tug would like that. I know. Then here's what we'll do. You start packing right away. What about horses? Well, there are two in the shed. All that's left of the ranch and stock. I ought to have a gun. I have fathers. Good. Pack enough for a week. And don't forget a lantern. Oh, and how about your friends in town? Will they want to know where we're going? Gil Jackson would follow me till he found out. All right, then we won't give him a chance. We'll get out of here at night. And we'll be well on our way to San Pablo by morning. Life. Well? Quiet as could be. A couple of riders passed by during the night, but that's all. See who they were? Now, what could I do? Stop them to see who they were and show them that I was out here? The more that happens between you and that Norris Spencer, the more you act like a rattler with a toothache. I didn't say a word about her. You don't have to. I can read you like a subpoena. And I'm advising you, my boy, to get your mind off that piece of calico and stick to the business in hand. Speaking of hands, where are his tides? Listen, I was alone with this redskin in the dark. You think I want to be scalped? Cut him loose. Me likes the engine free, like bird. An engine and white man ride a San Pablo prison to gold. Gold? You see? Reach high. No gun, Mr. Haig? Say, what is this? They hurt you, engine? Not hurt. Them try and make Indian talk. Talk? About what? Uh, you know. 
Oh, I see. No, wait. He didn't say a word. Not about anything. I'm a lawyer, Mr. What's your name? Engine. Get your horse. Bring mine, a white stallion. You've got to listen. Your friend was arrested for disturbing the peace. Not by Mr. Jackson here, but the sheriff. We didn't agree he should be in jail, so I defended him. I didn't charge him a cent. Believe me. How much did you talk to these men about San Pablo prison? Me not talk much. Oh, no, no. Not much at all. I guess it's all right. Let's get out of here. Me not talk much. I said it's all right. Let's go. We cut off between those hills where we can follow them and not be seen. We meet them in San Pablo like we planned? Yes. Those men will do anything for gold. How we make them talk about Tug Spencer? Jackson's a blowhard and a bully. Kind of breaks down under pressure. Whether he admits it or not, he'll feel that pressure when he sees the place Tug Spencer was hanged. Let's go. Where's the cemetery, Danny? I'd like to see it. He was a fine man, Nora. People may judge him by the way he died, but we know how he lived. I'll never believe in justice again. I'll never believe there's any use in being right and honest while the men who did this to him are free. Come on, I'll show you where he slept. Do you really think that money will help us find those killers? If we use it that way. Then what are we waiting for? Let's dig up that treasure and use it. That's the way to talk. Now, let's see. You said the flagstone near the foot of the bed. Somebody here. Inside the building. You see inside prison wall? I can see Hagen Jackson in the courtyard. In town, there are two more horses there. Some innocent bystanders are liable to get into trouble. Hagen Jackson plenty mean. Them have gold fever. Yes, and they may not listen to reason. We'd better get in there fast before any gunplay starts. You reckon they're after the same thing? Too bad for them if they've found it. I've got a funny feeling. They're being watched. Is Tug Spencer's ghost riding you again? Forget it. What do we do? We look around and keep that gun handy. Danny, look at this. And this. Danny, look. Look at this. Pearls. Pearls in the middle of the desert. Why, it's plunder, a pirate's treasure. I bet it was soaked in blood a dozen times before it got here. I bet more men died over this stuff. Than... Hey! Hello, young man. Oh, Mr. Haig. You really gave us a fright. Did I, my dear? Teasing. Just teasing, that's all. Well, stop teasing and lower that ladder. Hmm. What's all that stuff lying around? Look, will you lower that ladder and we'll talk about it up there? Uh, just a moment. Well, runs off of that convict, huh? All right, we'll do it your way. Anything you say, we do. Thank you. I suppose you youngsters are aware that merely finding treasure doesn't end the matter. There are a lot of legal angles involved. Will you lower that ladder? Oh, the ladder. You won't need the ladder. This is wonderful. They'll suffocate down there, not a mark on them. What's the difference? You're not very bright, Jackson. We'll be able to take the bodies back to town. Not me. Oh, yes. We four left Colbados at about the same time. Better to bring them back with a smooth story than let them disappear. Think of the future, Jackson. Always worry about the unexpected. Jackson's with him. Nora? Nora! This is a joke, Mr. Haig. I know it's a joke. Please let us out of here. Nora, just as a matter of idle curiosity, which cell did your father occupy? You're in it now. And you put him there, you skunks. You murdering skunks, you put him there. I don't like this. That's a queer coincidence. First the father, 
Now the daughter. I said I don't like this. I got that feeling again. Like being watched. You are being watched, Mr. Jackson. That was the boy's voice, wasn't it? It came from down there. You know darn well I didn't. Hey! Hey! Let's get out of here! Send the nearest sheriff to pick them up. They'll have their day in court. Now you'll clear your father's name. To me, my father's name was always clear. I wanted revenge. Not anymore. I don't know when in the past hour I decided against it, but revenge isn't sweet. You'll have a brighter life ahead of you with that thought in mind. A much brighter life. Danny, I know you'll take care of her. Come on, Tonto. Adios. I wish they would have shared in our treasure, Danny. It belongs to them as much as to us. Well, we offered them some, you know, but they wouldn't take it. They're wonderful people. But why does that man wear a mask? Who is he? I know. He's a lone ranger. Hello, Silver! Away! Hello! 